higher on than the consensus, and that is Gabriel Procida, the 20-year-old six-foot-eight wing from Bologna over in uh, play for Bologna over in Italy. Just one quick question, Corey. Now I know that yeah, Bologna is in Italy, but you guys in America, you would say that word as baloney if you were talking about meat, wouldn't you? Why? <laughs> why? There's no, there's no why. Why is it baloney? It makes no sense. I, I wish I could tell you the English language uh, in and of itself doesn't make any sense. So uh, you're preaching to the choir here. <laughs> so Gabriel Procida from Baloney apparently is uh, is here. So let, let's talk about him. Probably. Yeah, I would expect him to be a second round player in the draft. Like how much higher are you on him than maybe that consensus? Uh, I would feel comfortable taking him, you know, in like the, the 15 to 20 range. Okay. Um, so probably, I guess a, a little bit higher. I, I mean, for me, like once I really started diving into his film and I was familiar with him prior to this year. Uh, but once I really got, deep into his film this season i was like he might be one of the best international prospects in the entire draft and um just with because of his size and and his the ability to shoot the ball there are just things that that he did on the floor that i was like this guy looks like a a guy that's gonna play uh a long time in the nba so uh i think he's really exciting uh as a prospect and somebody that um again like i would have no problem taking pretty early uh you know like I'm a Bulls fan. Like, if the Bulls swung for him at 18, I would feel completely confident in it. So, you, we look at the numbers. He only played 19 minutes a game. Um, but the shooting numbers are all fantastic. You 52% from the field, 38% from three, hit 78% from the line. He got to the line a lot. He attempted uh, 53% of his shots are from three. His true shooting was 66%. Like, these are all gigantic numbers. Unfortunately, a lot of the other numbers are pretty small, like... 0.7 assists, 0.3 blocks, three rebounds. He did have some good steal numbers. So the question everyone asks, whether this is right or wrong, is international prospects, European prospects, like, are they going to be able to defend NBA athletes? Like, how does he go on that end? I, I mean, it's going to be a process early on for sure. But one of the things that's for me is, is encouraging is he's just so big. Like, you know, he's six eight out on the floor. And he's got big, broad shoulders. So, you know, as he continues to mature out on an NBA floor, I look at him and I go, like, is he the type of guy that's going to be able to play in a playoff setting? Is he going to be able to get played off the floor physically? And to me, the answer is no. And then one of the things that pops about him that I'm sure we'll touch on is, like, he's one of the best athletes for a wing in this draft. So he's got the athleticism. He's got the frame. I think he's going to put on good weight when he gets in an NBA strength and conditioning program. And I think he moves well enough laterally. So uh, will it be a process early on? Yeah, and that's true for the vast majority of rookies. But he's a guy that I think just because of the size, the athleticism, and the frame, in the long run, I think he's going to be able to be on a floor in big moments. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be the guy you stick on Jason Tatum in the fourth quarter of a playoff game, but I don't necessarily know if teams are going to be able to hunt him in the long term in the playoffs either. So th- I think that's where I'm at with him defensively. What about, you know, outside of the shooting? Like, because that all looks really good. Like, that's that's impressive at this point. What else offensively does he do? Can he dribble? Can he pass? Can he be a secondary ball handler? Is he a guy that is only a catch-and-shoot player? Can he create shots for himself? You know, what's his other role outside of being, hey, he's a really good shooter and he's got this good size? Uh, I think that, um, one, he's going to be excellent in transition. I, I think he's uh, just an absolute beast out in the open floor. I think he's got really good timing uh, going for offensive rebounds. Like if you watch him, he's got like just a, an entire highlight reel uh, full of like monster tip dunks. Um, and I think that he's a good off ball mover so that while uh, he's not going to be a guy who creates a ton of his own offense at the next level, ideally, I think that like he can get his own shot in the same way that, you know, uh, maybe not JJ Redick. He's one of the best ever, but like guys who are a Bogdanovich guys who move off ball, get, get open that way, running off pin down screens, floppy action. Um, I think that's how ideally he's going to score the vast majority of his points, but he has also flashed some pretty impressive stuff with the ball in his hands, um, you know, step backs and, and whatnot. So 
I do think he's got some potential there as well. I, you know, with him and, you know, the reason, like, you know, I say I feel comfortable taking him post lottery, I don't project him to be like a, uh, you know, a sec, a first or second option necessarily. But I just think that he's got such a clear path to be like uh, a guy who you could probably rely on for third option scoring as a role player playing off of your stars. So uh, maybe guys like Luca or Jason Tatum, guys who are going to be able to create a little bit on the wing. I think he could pair next to them really seamlessly. Uh, and whether that is developing some of that on ball stuff or just being a really really important guy who does stuff off ball and doesn't need high usage to still contribute and get points. I think he can do uh, develop kind of a little bit of both. Before we